Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this first video series, Back to Basics, I'm going to be showing you guys three easy beginner friendly acrylic designs. Hey guys, what's up? Before I jump into this video, I wanted to inform you of the launch of my Patreon where you guys can watch and learn my style of nail art, acrylic painting. You guys will see so many different looks depending on which tier you select from my very easy designs to my detailed designs like J. Cole, Astro World, and some exclusive videos not even seen on my YouTube channel. I haven't mentioned all the other perks, but if you guys simply just click on my Patreon link in my description box, you guys will see everything that I'm offering here on my Patreon. So for these three simple designs, I'm going to be using three different colors. I'm going to be using Kiara Sky, I'm going to be using Glam and Glitz, and my own personal glitter mix. I'd also like to mention that I'm going to be using Young Nails in the color Clear. So to start off the first design, I'm going to be showing you guys how to marble two acrylic colors together and get a very pretty design. So I'm going to start off with the Glam and Glitz color and I'm going to start at the left corner of the nail tip. What I am doing here is I'm adding the acrylic powder in the Kiara Sky Blue and I'm going to just simply run my brush lightly through the two colors while it is still wet. So you want to kind of work at a fast pace when it comes to marbling your designs because it's easier to work with and you also get that marble effect. One thing that I like to do um, when it comes to marbling my nails is I like to use dip powders because within the dip powder I've noticed that the dip even has a marbling agent within it. You can kind of see the marble effect within that Kiara Sky Blue. So I kind of like using dip powders when it comes to my marbling it makes the design very nice and it gives that marble effect when you are marbling your acrylic you want to make sure that your brush is wet you don't want to swipe down the design to the rest of the tip you kind of want it to just kind of ooze its way down the um down the tip of the tip you want the design to just kind of do its own thing you just simply add on more color add more tan add more blue kind of work its way within the two colors but you don't want to work them to where they kind of create their own color together you kind of want to just really have the main focus being of that of the marble so you really want to make sure that you are using wet beads but you want to use about the same ratio bead sizes when you are coming to the marbling part so that one doesn't overpower the other so what I'm doing here also for this particular marble design is I'm simply placing my beads literally left to right, left to right, and you can kind of get that effect and you can kind of see what I'm talking about here in this clip right here. I'm literally going from left to right, left to right, but one thing that I wanted to do with this marble design, I didn't want it to look like I was literally placing those beads left to right. So sometimes I'll drag a little bit of the acrylic throughout some of the previous beads that I've placed on the nail tip just so it doesn't have that uniform marble look. So once I'm done with my marbling, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm also going to go ahead and encapsulate it. Now when it comes to your marbling, you can, if you want to, you can just marble and just drill down, but I don't particularly like to use a drill. So I use a very thin layer of whatever acrylic I'm marbling and then I encapsulate it with clear acrylic. So now I'm going to go into my glitter mix and show you guys a little cute design showing some of the encapsulated glitter that's going to be peeking through the marble. So what I'm going to start with first, when it comes to encapsulating my glitter, what I like to do is I like to simply pick up a thin bead of clear acrylic and then I pick up my glitter and then I place it on my tip. Sometimes depending depending on what design I'm doing, I will pick up my bead first, 
place it on the nail tip and then apply my glitter but for this design I'm simply picking up my clear acrylic picking up the glitter and then placing it on the nail tip so there are different techniques how to do different things for this purpose I am going to be picking up a clear bead glitter and then playing applying it excuse me to the nail tip i'm going to make sure that it's very thin you don't want it too bulky again i don't like to use a drill um i don't use a drill on my clients so i have to make sure that each layer is going to be extremely thin but it's still going to be opaque and pigmented I'm also going to add a little bit of more um, of the miler there just so you can really get that glitter effect, that miler shimmer effect on this particular part of this tip because I'm also going to be adding some acrylic and I kind of want this to be peeking through the acrylic. So I really want it to focus on the glitter of this tip. So when I am encapsulating artwork, one tip that I will give you guys is I don't like to go into encapsulation right after I've placed my artwork on the nail. This is because my artwork may move around if the acrylic is not dry. So what I'll do is I'm going to let this sit and dry and then I'm going to go on to the next step and then add my acrylic, my colored acrylic to this look. So there is a little bit of time in between. I make sure that this glitter right here is completely dry and stable and it's not going to go anywhere so I can go on to my next step which is the acrylic artwork. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to still do a little marble design, but this time I'm going to have the glitter kind of interrupt the little marble design that I've got going on. I didn't start at the left corner of the nail tip. I started at the kind of center of the tip and I'm going to kind of move some of that color acrylic to the outline of the glitter so you don't really see the clear acrylic background. So here you see me swiping these sides, these side walls of the nail tip, just bringing down some of that blue acrylic color on the edges of the nail tip because I want it to look like I have the blue wrapped around the glitter. So I don't want it to look like I literally have glitter and then I have a clear background. I want it to look like I have blue around it. But if I were to simply just place the blue on the nail tip, you wouldn't really see the underside. I really don't feel like you would get that really good glitter effect if you were to put the glitter on top of the blue I really wanted it to be kind of peeking through the nail tip so that is something that I did differently you can put the glitter on top of the blue if it is difficult for you but this was just the particular look that I was going for so here I'm demonstrating how I typically would do an encapsulation I would apply my clear acrylic first and then I will apply my glitter next also, when it comes to doing my um, encapsulations, when it comes to doing any acrylic nails using tips, always make sure that you um, you rough up your nail tips. Don't apply any of your glitter or any of your acrylic to something that is a soft surface soft not soft surface excuse me to a smooth surface smooth can't stick to smooth it has to be rough to smooth smooth goes on top of rough so for video purposes yes i am using a clear tip that is not roughed up but if you were doing this on yourself or a client you want to make sure that you rough up your nails so that your acrylic can stick properly to the nail tip so I'm also going to go in with a little bit more of the glitter and just kind of have it ombre out of the little box areas that I made for it. I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and I'm going to go on to the next step. So for this particular design, I did want to try out something using one of these X-Acto knives. I think it's called an X-Acto knife. But what I simply did was I applied my, um, my acrylic to the tip and I started with the cuticle area first, bringing it down. I let it dry for a little bit and then I simply went in with this little teeny tiny X-Acto knife um, and I just sliced the acrylic clean across just to make a clean cut. Um, there are different alternatives to doing this. You don't have to use a knife. You can just use your acrylic brush. But I just wanted to see if it works and it gets you a clean cut. But I feel like it's doing extra, honestly. So what I'm doing now is I'm going in with my glitter and I'm going in with my clear acrylic. And I'm just going to fill in that little line right there because I'm going to do another example of the um 
the exacto knife but i'm going to see what it looks like if i do it immediately after i apply this glitter right here so what i would typically do after knowing how it looks i would let this again dry and then i would shape it before i go into the next step so when you are doing this particular design you want to wait until each little section has dried before you go on to the next one So here I am adding a little bit more of the clear acrylic to this glitter just so I can kind of get that encapsulated look. Again, I should have waited for this um, glitter to have dried before I go on to my next step, which is applying the Kiara Sky blue dip powder to the tip of this so here my lines aren't very straight you can see the bottom of the glitter design isn't as sharp and precise as the um that nutmeg not nutmeg that like nutty nude color that you see right there that i achieved with the exacto knife so now what i'm doing which i don't advise you guys to do but if you want to simply do this same design, you simply can, but just wait for that glitter part to be dry before you add this blue color to the end of the tip. You want to make sure that these lines are very crisp and very precise. So that was one of the mistakes that I made trying out this design myself. So you want to simply go in each little block that you're doing that you want precise lines. You want to make sure that acrylic is dry so you you don't have to do this right here and simply move the acrylic to form that straight line also you'll get more of a crisper cleaner line doing it this way as well so for this particular look guys what I would simply say is wait for each section to dry file it make sure that your lines are crisp and precise and go on to the next block color that you'd like to add to the nail tip so once I'm done doing this artwork, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate it and then I'm going to let it dry, file and buff, and then I'm going to go on to adding the top coat, well the base coat and then the top coat. Again, whenever you're doing nails, you want to make sure that you put a base coat and then a top coat. Your top coat has to stick to something in that tacky layer that your base coat gives you. Make sure that your top coat sticks properly to your nails. A lot of people skip base coat but you need to not skip base coat you need to apply base coat first then a top coat if yours uh if your gel excuse me is not a two in one you have to have a base and a top coat um so now i'm just going on to showing you guys the end results of this overall look i really like this one this is so pretty i didn't even think it was going to come out this nice guys so this is the marble design i'm going to show you guys what it looks like with a gloss shine to it in just a moment so this came out very very pretty I really love how that marble with that dip powder really gave some detail to that blue marble within this set. So this is what the overall look will look like, guys. The two nail tips that you guys see on the side, I will be showing you guys some other designs in my next video. Make sure that you guys like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video too on my Back to Basics series.